So we are gonna talk about boundaries as a real estate agent and like really, really kind of taking um, social cues. So I'm gonna give you an example. I was just at a conference. I spoke um, at Blado, Cato Blair's conference in South Carolina. I'm actually here right now. It's been a crazy three days. We traveled in on, on um, was it um, nine hour travel and then we, the next day I spoke and trained for six hours and then I just spoke for an hour and a half as a keynote. But anyway, so as they say, Krista Mayshore is up next and take a 15 minute break, Krista Mayshore, uh, come on up, get, get mic'd up. And so as I'm walking with like somebody else to kind of like help guide me, this woman says, hey, Krista, can I please talk to you and ask you some questions? And I go, no, I can't. I'm going to like get mic'd up right now, like they just announced. And she gave me this kind of scourging look and I was thinking to myself, hey lady, like it's, it was really obvious that I was in a hurry. I had somebody kind of like trying to block people off. They called my name and said it's time to go, you know, to uh, to speak and, she, but she just didn't get it, right? So don't be that person. Don't be the person that doesn't get like what's happening around them and that doesn't like, um, doesn't really like respect people's boundaries. And I want you to think about that in respect to the sellers or the buyers that you're working with, especially let's take a look at a seller right now. Think about a seller, right? They're selling their most valued asset and as real estate agents, we take for granted like what we know and how it feels and where they're at in the world. And we really, really kind of sometimes take it for granted, but it's their most valued asset and, and they're nervous and they're scared and they're stressed out. I recently just sold several properties. So I'll tell you, I've sold over 2,300 properties for other people. But when I do my own, I'm nervous, I'm stressed, I'm worried about contingencies, I'm freaking out, right, too. So just imagine without any experience and, you know, with them just being so worried and wanting to hire the right person and being unaware of, like, what's the best offer? Why should they take it? What are contingencies? You know, who's going to be walking through their house? Are they going to touch their things? Are they going to, is their personal property going to be exposed? What about their, what about their fur babies? Are their fur babies going to be okay? And what about their children? Are their children going to be safe? I mean, they've got so many things going on. So really, really what I want you to do is to think about social cues. Think about what people are going through and put yourself in their shoes and ask, would this be the right thing to do? Or should this be the right thing to say? Or does this make sense to do this at this time? Or am I infringing on their personal space? Or am I, you know, really looking at what's happening on around them? Now, let me give you a couple other things that happen. So then other people were like, Krista, I know you're busy and I'm sure you're tired, but would you mind if I just got a picture with you? Or like like hundreds of people, you know, Krista, Krista, would you mind, like, can I just get a quick video? And, you know, and I said, sure, no worries. And, you know, they were just super respectful. And that was like 99% of people were super respectful like that, super caring, you know, cared about, you know, the fact that I was on stage, thanked me graciously and told me how helpful it was. And it was so nice.